Good morning. Welcome to our sixth week of online learning for the fourth quarter. Our topic is the human responses to emerging challenges in contemporary societies. In this lesson, you are expected to first identify the similarity and difference of inclusive citizenship and participatory governance. Second, describe inclusive citizenship and participatory governance as an important part of being a citizen and value the importance of inclusive citizenship and participatory governance. Inclusive citizenship and participatory governance. Inclusive citizenship and participatory governance are an important part of understanding what people as citizens in society can do to respond to the challenging issues in today's society. Inclusive citizenship refers to people's understanding of what it means to a citizen go to the heart of the various meanings of personal and national identity, political and elect electoral participation, and rights. <clears throat> the idea of inclusive citizenship put forward by the state gives citizens a sense of belongingness in society. It fosters the idea that all citizens are included and part of society, regardless of their color, gender, religion, or socioeconomic status. <clears throat> in a democracy society, citizen participation in politics is encouraged. However, this participation is sometimes consistent. One of the leading organizations espousing the goal of having more governments, allowing intensive citizen interaction in policy making is the United Nations or UN. <laughs> The view on inclusive citizenship believes that marginalized groups and individuals should be empowered and included in political processes. Among the groups that have benefited, benefited from the emergence of inclusive and liberal views on citizenship are women, the poor, and the uneducated. Citizenship refers to the legal status of an individual in a particular state that allows him or her to enjoy certain rights and protection. Citizens are beneficiaries of social welfare programs and other public services and are guaranteed protection from internal and external threats. Political efficacy it relates to an individual's perception of his capacity to influence the political system toward a political end. Political will. It is the extent of engagement that an, in, that an individual has with the political system in the attempt to achieve a goal. <clears throat> Public governance is a process and institutions that contribute to public decision making. Public governance has the three subcategories namely civic, political, and development governance. 
civic and political governance concern issues related to human rights. <clears throat> These processes of decision-making are mainly con conducted by government officials. Development governance refers to planning and management of public services, programs, and policies. In this category of public governance, ordinary citizens are included in the decision-making. This inclusion of non-government citizens is a strategy called participatory governance. We define participatory governance as state-authorized processes that allow citizens to voice their opinions and cast their votes about policies and programs that are directed towards the development of the citizens' lives. <clears throat> In this strategy, the government provides an av avenue not only for individuals, but also for other civil society organizations to engage in the decision-making process. <laughs> Participatory governance re represents a more genuine version of democracy since citizens become active participants in the process. It is distinguished from a representative democracy in which the extent of citizens' participation is only limited to the election of public officials. Inclusive citizenship and participatory governance constitute a great, great help for the creation of responses to new challenges in the society. With the help of citizens and their insights, public officials will be aware of what issues should be prioritized and how such issues should be addressed. <laughs> Thank you for listening.